My name is Chris Reese. I'm a fourth year MD PhD candidate here at Dartmouth, and I'm doing my PhD uh, in Jane Hill's lab, which is at the Thayer School of Engineering. My area of interest in terms of research is in um, developing a novel diagnostic for the characterization of antibiotic resistance patterns in highly resistant species of bacteria. So my particular area of interest is carbapenem resistant enterobacter, which refers to a group of organisms that have acquired resistance to um, most, if not all, commercially available antibiotic drugs. And so those bacteria now are still relatively rare um, as bacterial infections go, but every year they're proportionally representing more and more of all infections that you would see. And so in those cases, it's really important that you treat appropriately as quickly as you possibly can because the longer a patient goes without appropriate treatment, the more likely they are to uh, suffer long-term consequences of their infection. Right now, it takes between three days and a week to get a definitive diagnosis plus antibiotic susceptibility profiling. And we're hoping to take the steps that would lead to a diagnostic that could do that in a matter of minutes, if not hours. And then that's just going to send about 30 more yeah. sensitive. Oh, good, good, um, good. And so yeah, so that's going to be the next yeah. task. I'm originally from Massachusetts. I dabbled in a little bit of everything and never became <laughs> really great at anything. So I think I was the kid who my parents tried to push me to try a little bit of everything. So I did basketball and baseball and lacrosse and, and all those sort of things. And I learned to play the piano and the violin. And um, I don't think that I've necessarily retained any of those skills, but it was fun to kind of have the variety. And maybe that's where my need for variety in life comes from. We do everything from microbiology to analytical chemistry to using different computational techniques to analyze data sets. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, the, actually, no, this is a PA one wild thing. It's nice to come in on a given day and, and know that you'll get to do one thing you're interested in, and then the next day you'll get to do something completely different that you're also interested in. In terms of research, I really came to appreciate that it was something that I enjoyed doing and um, discovering things that have not been discovered before is a, when you take a step back and think about it, it's actually a pretty profound opportunity to, to get to do something neat. It can definitely seem to be a pretty gargantuan task when you first encounter just the data set that we generate. The really great thing about this environment is because we're so multidisciplinary, we have people in the lab with really diverse backgrounds. So we have engineers, computer scientists, biostatisticians, microbiologists. And so if I have a question or I'm approaching a problem that I've not approached before, the odds are really good that there's going to be someone in the group who can help me or push me in the right direction. I think the ultimate goal would be um, to develop a tool that could very rapidly determine what kind of organism a patient with pneumonia has and what kind of therapies they're likely to respond to. Because right now, the amount of time that it takes is not, it's not sufficient for a lot of people who are very sick. And so hopefully what we do can help to cut down on the time to make that diagnosis from you know, about a week to a few hours. I guess one thing that I've kind of come to appreciate about both research and medicine to a certain extent is that those careers are, are ones that are not likely to stagnate. And so, you know, you have the opportunity to do something new every day. We are not going to be able to answer all of the world's problems in the next generation, or probably not the one after that or the one after that. And so if you have questions that you really feel like you want to answer, the odds are good that you'll have the opportunity to try to answer them. A lot of what we know about the human body has been around for hundreds of years. And, you know, every couple of weeks a new drug comes about or a new procedure is developed. And so as much as, as our core knowledge of medicine is fixed. There's a lot of it that changes on a, on a decently regular basis. And so if you want a career that's going to let you do a number of things and that's going to keep you, keep you engaged and keep you focused on a daily basis, I think either research or medicine are, are two really viable options for that.